My husband and I got to take our honeymoon almost 10 years after we were married. When you have a child with special needs, it can be really hard to get away. So we planned, we saved, we looked everywhere for the perfect tropical vacation, and we landed on Antigua. Well, every day at breakfast, a beautiful woman named Keitha would seat us, and she always had this radiant smile on her face and just a beautiful energy about her. Well, one day, before she seated us, she seated another guest who was incredibly rude. I couldn't even believe the things he was saying to Keitha. And she came over and said, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Grady, how are you this morning? And I looked at her and I said, Keitha, how do you stay so positive? That man was so rude to you. She looked at me and said, child, you must protect your peace. And that really stuck with me. There are things in life that are competing to take our peace, our mental health, and our well-being away, but you have to guard it and protect it. What can you do to protect your peace? Well, first determine what's taking it away, and then make a conscious decision to limit those experiences or distance yourself from them whenever possible. Peace is in short supply these days, and you have to make a conscious and deliberate effort to protect yours.